Hey everybody and welcome back. Hope your guys' weekend is going pretty well so far. MLB The Show 17 The Little Things live stream was on Thursday. Now I know I'm a day late dollar short, but uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on if these were actually little things and what stood out to me in the trailer. Alright, so the video, uh, they, they talked about a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to go over some things and then I'm just going to talk about the little things, I guess. Which, to me, it's more like features than little things, but I'll get into that. They basically showed every single uniform of every single team. Um, they took away uniforms from teams that didn't really have many alternatives. And they added those slots to, I guess, even out the balance of jerseys per team. Not really even them out per team, but they had so they could get more slots for teams that have more jerseys than the other. Pretty cool stuff. The Diamondbacks have just, I think, 11 slots. The Marlins have some. The Brewers, the Indians... Uh, the Reds, the Los Rojos jerseys, I love those jerseys. I'm going to probably use those. I'm not a Reds fan, but when I play the Reds, I'll probably have them wear those. It's pretty cool stuff. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. They added a bunch of jerseys. So, I mean, now you people have been complaining about that for a long time now. And at least uh, the San Diego Studios did something about it. So I'm a pretty big fan of that. Um, so the classic stadiums they talked about as well, which they've already been on PS3. I was hoping like the Kingdom would have been in here. Um, I don't understand why the Kingdom isn't in here. Maybe it's a licensing issue. Maybe it's because they didn't have enough time to do it. But uh, that could be another reason. Um, so they have the Metrodome, Shea Stadium, uh, and Yankee Stadium. And uh, what was that? The old Marlin Stadium, uh, Sun Life Stadium, I believe. Um, it's not called that. It's called Old Miami because it's obviously the license issue there. But... Uh, Pretty cool stuff there. I mean, I'll, I'll probably play at Old Yankee Stadium and Shea. And I'm not a huge fan of the Metrodome. Never really was. So that's pretty cool. At least we have some more classic ballparks to go into. I mean, next year they should add a couple more. Like uh, the Kingdome, the Astrodome. Um, uh, there's a couple other ones that I've always wanted. Uh, Three River Stadium. Um, can't think of off the top of my head. But there's a bunch of stadiums that I really would like added. Like Old Milwaukee County Stadium would be pretty cool. Um, just stadiums that I would love to see in the game. Pretty cool. And then on one of the main screens here, they had critical situations, which people are like, oh, maybe it's like a Madden play the moments. Here's what I think it is personally. It is going to be a, like, a, a key moments or games like MLB 2K had, like where you could sim the season, like in, I think it was in my player. Which I don't know, I don't, this isn't in my player, but whatever. It's going to be the same difference, I think. So, like, you can sim, and then you just play key games that, like, mean something. Or you'll have, like, key situations in those key games, um, which would make sense. I'm probably not going to use that feature at all. Um, but whatever, it's in there. It's not going to be, like, Madden's Play the Moments. It's going to be straight up sim. And then, oh, look, a key game with, uh, you're going to have a runner on second with the tie and run on first. Something like that. I have no idea. It's just going to be something like that against those opponents. So that's kind of cool, I guess, but it's not my type of thing. So whatever. Uh, I guess Challenge of the Week has a new scoring system and more prizes. So that's interesting. I don't play that, so I really don't care. Uh, Keikels, Comer, and Sunny uh, Siders. Uh, the Seven Line and Local Military at Petco are in the game. So uh, that's pretty cool. If you guys don't know what Keiko's Corner is, it's basically a corner in Minute Maid Park where they uh, rep uh, Dallas Keiko. So that's interesting. Uh, so, I mean, I, I pretty much like that, that they add those. But, I mean, it's not something that I'm going to notice in the game a whole lot because I'm not looking for it. I'm just playing the game. I'm trying to get the ball in play. Speaking of the ball in play, they talked about ball physics quite a bit in this uh, live stream and the stream prior. Because, uh, uh, now you're going to get hundreds of thousands of new animations for um, ball physics. So that's awesome. I mean, the way like the ball like slices now is way more realistic than it was ever in this game. So that's awesome. I, I just cannot wait to see how the ball physics are going to play out. That's one of the main things I really am looking forward to in this game. I know it's kind of a stupid thing to look forward to, but you know what? Whatever. I really don't care. That's just one of the things I really like. Uh, they have like new 500 new Diamond Dynasty cards. Could couldn't care less. Don't play Diamond Dynasty. Uh, double uh, sounds of the show from 512 slots to 1,024 slots, and then sounds of the show they add additional home run and run score music slots. 
and then pitching music works for the starting pitcher intros and relief pitcher entr- entrances. So that is pretty awesome. I love sounds of the show. I utilize that every single time now. I'm just so glad that MLB The Show could work out with Sony how to get music onto the PS4 and into the game. It's pretty simplistic. You just put it on a hard drive and or flash drive and uh, implement it onto the game. Pretty cool stuff. There wasn't a whole lot else they talked about. They just did a game with the at uh, with the Rockies and I can't remember the other team that was playing, but uh, Rockies and Reds maybe um, at Shea Stadium. Shea Stadium looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I mean, they didn't. A lot of that really wasn't the little things like sounds of the show and stuff. Like I don't care. The Diamond Dynasty thing, I couldn't care less. These are more like features than they are the little things. They're straight up like not little things like little things to me is like bunting the ball where the ball is going to go chain like does the dirt and grass matter um stupid stuff like that like can the ball get stuck in the ivy at Wrigley who knows I won't know because I didn't talk about it so pretty cool pretty cool stream I mean it was a good stream overall don't get me wrong but that just to me isn't the little things that's more like features I mean, stadiums, that's part of the game. It's not really a little thing. The little thing only on this entire thing was Keiko's Corner, Sunny Siders, and the seven line of local military at Petco Park. Those are the only ones that struck me as little things and the ball physics, and maybe the jerseys too, I guess. Other than that, it was basically a features thing, which I hope San Diego Studios isn't moving away from like, because I remember the little things, they used to talk about not any of that. And it used to just be about straight up gameplay and what they changed for it. Like small stuff that you don't really notice, but it's there to make a more realistic experience. Those don't strike me as that at all. So I don't know. I really don't know. I I hope they're not going down this repetitive path of making features that are called little things. Which, that's not true. But I'm looking forward to next week's live stream. It's going to be revealing I'm going to be the show and possibly Harold Reynolds in the booth. And Lauren Caccini, I think her last name is. Uh, possibly even a third wheel in the booth or a dugout reporter for the uh, MLB network. Cannot wait for that. So that will be pretty awesome. So that's just my thoughts and opinions on this. Um, If you guys want to talk down in the comments, that'd be pretty awesome. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Have a good one.